On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at some parts of a valve we might not normally think about. When we think about a valve in general, we're thinking, well, we need to start and stop flow through the valve. And there's a handle and a seat for that purpose. Uh, handle drives the plug down on the valve seat and that shuts off our flow. But we've actually got to prevent leakage, not just through the valve, but out of the valve. And there are two components of a valve that handle that aspect. One is the packing. So the stem, as it turns through the upper part of the valve, uh, has to be free to move. And so in order to keep fluids from leaking past that, we use a packing gland. So this nut actually compresses within the valve a packing material, uh, in this example, graphite, that's wound or placed in rings around the shaft. And when that packing gland is tightened, it compresses that. And so if we're getting leakage around the stem of a valve, we can tighten this nut and that's going to compress that further and give us a seal. But what you may not know is that the bottom of the valve stem, if we take a close look, there's actually a tapered surface here. And that's what we refer to as the back seat of the valve. So if we open a valve fully, we'll actually see that that can form a mechanical seal. And we'll look at that next week, backseating a valve and when we should do it. <laughs> <laughs>